next I'd like to speak about the Qatar team, the winner of successive European titles over the past two years, and introduce the coach of the team, which beat the Japanese squad twice in the current Ibus Karate World Cup. Carlo Fugazza's pupils won hands down. What training methods helped you achieve this success, and what's the key to your super and almost faultless exercises? Carlo, I would like to know how quali sistemi di allenamento avete usato per riuscire a una perfezione tale di avere i punteggi veramente altissimi? Well, basically we have applied traditional methods in our training sessions. We have done Kihon exercises and naturally worked out special kata exercises that we performed here. That has brought us success. And, of course, the great willpower that characterizes you all. And here is also Rosemary Guidotti, who lost the final because of an injury which was not noticed by the referee. It was not the referee's fault since the injury became visible later. Now, do you think you would have been able to win if you were not injured? Well, after the first big punch, I lost my concentrating ability. Therefore, it is my mistake, too, that I could not keep calm. So I was unable to keep the final bout under control as I planned. Well, I think fair play makes you say so. Now, Montachiesi and Di Cesare still have matches, and in some minutes we'll know the result of the two European champions. We hope they will not be disqualified. But do you think you'll be capped for the World Championship squad? I hope so. Can you say anything about the World Cup? No, nothing at this moment. Well, I wish you all the best. As a